What's up guys, it's Kara here and the holiday season is upon us and I was just watching some Christmas movies and they always show those little like fruit and nut holiday loaf cakes that look disgusting to me but then again I've never tried them but it made me want to make like a you know a basic holiday cake loaf if you will for the holiday season and I wanted to keep it basic you guys can like throw in fruit and nuts and get all crazy for the holiday season if you want. I'm gonna give you the basic version. And what I'm gonna use instead of using like a loaf pan, which you can use for today's recipe, I dug up this holiday Christmas tree cake pan. So I'm gonna use that for our loaf. And what you're first gonna wanna do is preheat the oven at 325 degrees. Now for this recipe, you're either gonna wanna use a handheld mixer or a blender to blend up all our ingredients. So what I'm gonna do, instead of getting a bowl dirty, I'm gonna dump everything into our blender. So, to get started, the one thing that we're gonna use that might be a little bit different than maybe you don't have on hand to make this recipe nice and moist and dense, like a, like a pound cake, if you will, we are gonna use some riced cauliflower. This is definitely a staple of mine lately for anyone that is watching their diet, wants to be able to eat more, high volume, this is awesome stuff to have on hand, or you can just get basic cauliflower and chop it up and steam it up. You don't have to buy the convenience stuff, but I like convenience, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna use a half a cup of that riced cauliflower, and it's already steamed. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I get that all into our blender. Next thing we're gonna add is one half cup of liquid egg whites. I'm gonna go ahead and get all our wet ingredients in here first. So one half cup of liquid egg whites, and then I am also going to use a whole egg. So I'm gonna add one whole egg in there. Keep that yolk in there too. There's good nutrition in the yolk as well, good B vitamins in there. That's gonna do it for most of our wet ingredients. For the actual protein that we're gonna put into this cake, I'm gonna do a basic vanilla pound cake style. So I'm gonna use one scoop of the MTS vanilla, which do not underestimate the MTS vanilla. It smells just like cake batter. It smells like a box cake mix. It's so good. Make sure I get that nice and nice and full and packed in. Do one full scoop of that right in there. You guys can get the <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. Okay, moving on. For a sweetener, I'm gonna use Splenda. You can hate me if you want, it's totally cool. I'm good with it. But I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of that. Feel free to omit or add your sweetener of choice, as I like to usually mention. I am going to add just a couple dashes of cinnamon, which you guys should know me by now. I don't measure that typically, so. Next, we are gonna add a little pure vanilla extract, and yeah, I'm not gonna measure that. We're just gonna put like a teaspoon-ish in there. Next, I am gonna add a little salt. Just a couple cranks of that are gonna go right in there. We are gonna add some baking powder, one half teaspoon. And last ingredient, I am gonna add one tablespoon of almond flour into this recipe. You could sub out another flour if you want oat flour, wheat flour, coconut, you name it. One tablespoon going in there. And that is gonna conclude all the ingredients needed for this. I'm gonna go ahead, put this baby on the blender, blend it on up, and do a little taste test before we cook it, just because I like to measure the sweetness of it. So we've got all my ingredients blended on up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cake pan, and I've got it sprayed with my stick cooking spray, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the batter right on in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 325 degrees and bake it for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. All right guys, I let my pound cake cook in the oven for about 30 minutes and my little Christmas tree came out just like that. And I can actually flip it out and show you guys. Hopefully I don't break it. But the consistency of this, you're gonna be able to tell by me holding it, but. It actually has a really nice, dense consistency, just like pound cake. So you guys can eat it plain, just like that, or if you want to 
frost it up or add sprinkles or a little drizzle of honey, something like that, you can to add a little bit more flavor to it. But macros are gonna be posted below. This is pretty low calorie, high protein, and guilt free. Hope you guys give this a try. Don't forget to go to tigerfitness.com for all your protein needs. If you need some Fit Burn by RD Nutrition, you can get that there as well. Keep checking back for more.